Welcome back. We are once again in the storage room with 35 items to pull in today's video. So first up, we have sold a huge bundle of world stamps. Now, I believe they are up here on this shelf, uh, but likely right at the back. OK, I can actually see them straight away, which is uh, good news because that means that I know where they are. So let me see if i can reorganize this I have to be careful with this stuff i'm going to save one of these because we sold one of these uh, i have to be careful because a lot of this stuff up here is uh breakable glass um all that kind of stuff so i do not want to be dropping any of it on the floor or for that matter onto my toes because my toes are also breakable Okay, so here we go. It literally says stamps on the box, uh, which is a good sign. So yeah, this box here is full of loose stamps, uh, used stamps, all of that kind of stuff. Literally, it is huge and it's, it's full. So uh, they spent £30. Let me just make sure that they did spend £30 and they didn't use an offer. Uh, £24. £23.99 plus postage they paid for that if you remember watching my car boot video from about august last year i bought a big bundle of stamps from uh, the mayfair uh, car boot which was actually delayed into august because i believe we were still in lockdown in may last year but yeah there we go i spent eight pound on all of the stamps and i think that was the last one that i had available so that's really good um yeah right next up moving on we have sold this this is like a fold out mat a picnic mat um, and I believe they took an offer on this as well. Yeah, £6.40 for this. Um, I had about four or five of these. Originally, they were up for like £15, but they just stuck around for way too long. So drop, 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 drop the price to get rid of them. And that was, I believe, the last one. Maybe we have one more in stock. Uh, but yeah, that's a good one to get out of here, which I'm happy about. Next up, we have sold a Philips toothbrush head. I believe it's in this bucket down here, so... Let's get down. It's the uh, Sonic Air one. Uh, actually, it might be in this one. Let's see if we can find it real quick. There we go. Hopefully, you can see that. C1 Pro. That has sold for 18, maybe with an offer 15, something like that. Oh no, 18. Uh, so yeah, 18 pounds on that one. That's good. I believe I have about 20 of those in stock so that is nice right next up we have sold a rare number four vintage wooden plane and that is in here i think so i have to be careful because again lots of breakables in here so um yeah as you guys are probably realizing my organization skills are not you know fantastic but they work so let me see if I can dig this out. Okay, so this is the Whitmore plane. It does need some work, um, but that's why they got it for nice and cheap. Uh, I bought this ages ago. It came in like a bundle at auction. And uh, yeah, they paid £12.80. So again, good to see that item leave the storage. Right, next up, we have sold a moleskin blue set of jeans. These are brand new um, for, let me see how much they paid, £48. I will put a photo on screen because, as you know, my clothing is not in this storage room. It's, uh, it's out there on the landing where I can fit much more in. That is good. Right, next up, we have sold a Jing two cup tea, uh, which is right here. That is this one. Two cup tea. I don't even know how to pronounce that last word, but it's basically a French press. Um, you put your loose leaves in there and you make your green tea or whatever. So that has sold for £18 plus postage on top. That is nice. Ah, this one is actually downstairs uh, because I took the photo in the back garden. Um, so I'll put a picture on screen. This one has sold for 32, I believe. 
Yep, £32. So this is a body blade classic. It's a 48-inch cardio exercise um, bar. So I'm hoping I can send that with uh, Hermes still, but it may be too long. Um, I might have to find another method of postage for that. Uh, but yeah, they paid £32. I think I paid about £4 at the car boot for that one. So not too much at all. Um, and it sold pretty quickly. So again, good to see that one leave. Right, next up we have a Beyblade, which is over here. It's in either one of these buckets. Uh, because I move this stuff between the two. I think it's in this one. There we go. I actually think I have two of these. So I have to be careful. It's the right one. Yeah, that is the right one. So that sold for 15 I think. Yeah, £15 on that one. So, not masses of money, but again, it's a good little sell. Right, next up, we have sold a Bungie uh, Destiny t-shirt. Again, in the storage for clothing out there. So, picture on screen. They paid... £20 plus postage on this one. Let's not click cancellation because that will show the address. Don't do that. Right. So that was a good sale. Another t-shirt there out the door for 20 Uh Next up, we have sold that vintage uh, vintage Furby. Sorry, my brain went dead then for a second. Uh, £36 they paid after using my offer. Um, this Furby should be here. Uh, it's been here. Oh, I must have put it in here. Okie dokie. There we go. So this is actually in like pretty decent condition. Like normally they're all like scuffed up and have funky like faded colors and stuff. This is in like really good condition and um, yeah, it fully works, which is great. Um, I think I paid... I think I paid $9.99 in charity for this. I can't remember. I did a post, I think, on Instagram um, about this one. So the price is probably out there somewhere. I can't remember fully. But yeah, £36. Um, even if I paid £10 for it, that's still 26 on top before fees and all of that stuff. So that's a good one. Right, next up, we have a antique wooden tennis racket, which should be around here. It's the one that has the wooden case around it. Um, there it is. It's all dusty down there. Okie dokie. Oh. Okay, so this here is a nice old and wooden... I believe it's a tennis racket. That's what I listed it as. It looks like a tennis racket. And um, yeah, that's sold for £15. It's quite heavy, so it's probably over a kilo. I would say it's probably like 1.5, so... Um, yeah, a little bit more postage needed on that, but yeah, £15, another one out the door. Garmin, 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 Garmin. Now, the question is, where did I store the Garmin? So it's maybe up here, maybe, hopefully. There it is. Check that, check that out. Process of elimination right there. So this is a Garmin 52 and uh, 25 pounds he paid for that. I think, I hope. Yep, 25 pounds plus postage. Fantastic. Next up we have sold Actually, this right here, which I moved earlier, so I don't have to put that back in place, which is nice. Uh, a pair of binoculars. Let me just double check. Yep, so these are Chinon, Chinon uh, binoculars. They're not fantastic by any means. They're not, you know, high quality or really good ones. They're, you know, standard. Got these from my contact, I believe. Um... £16, I think they paid. Let me just double check. Yep, 16 plus postage, so that's good. I'm going to put this bucket back before I trip on it. There we go. Okay, next up we sold Star Wars. Kylo Ren's uh, 
lightsaber here we go so this is a second hand one um, i should have picked up that brand new one at the car boot a couple weeks back that he was selling for a tenner i should have i should have taken it because the box one would have been about 50 pounds but i was being stingy that day plus i was really tired so i just walked off for some reason and didn't bother picking it up but yeah this sold for 32.99 i can't remember how much i paid for this it wasn't a lot it wasn't a lot at all i don't think so yeah that is fully working a pain to uh to wrap i'm not gonna lie it's not uh not the easiest one to wrap up but there we go next up we have sold a bundle of uh playmobil figures now this sold for 12 um and it's in either this box or the one behind i'm not actually going to go rummaging right now because it will take ages so i would i'll do that after um because i don't want to be on camera rummaging through those tubs for 10 minutes uh but yeah i'll put a picture on screen so you can see uh, 33 figures there were in that bundle so they paid what about uh 30 pence per one which isn't too bad next up we have sold a chelsea the beauty o team it's a full team with the samsung sponsor on the kit i don't know what year they had the samsung samsung sponsor uh but there we go uh this is actually in the packing room uh because it's in a little storage tub that i have out there for small items right next up we have sold a jacket I paid £8 for this at a car boot sale last year. It stuck around for a long time. I think it was towards the end of the season, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, we got £28 for it in the end. Um, I thought it was going to be worth more, but it stuck around for ages. So I just accepted his offer when it came through. Anyway, picture on screen now, because again, that is out there. Um... I wish I could film out there, but there's, you know, there's rubbish and stuff out there. I don't want to be putting on the video because it's just messy, messy, messy. Right. I'm actually going to pop over real quick to the packing room because the next two items are over there. And um, yeah, I want to show you them. So I'll be right back. Right. OK, so excuse the mess. But the next couple of items are in here, so I'm going to show these real quick. Um, so, yeah, the next item that's sold is three die-cutting uh, bundle used. There's like a really awful title. I don't know why I named it that. No wonder I only sold for £12, but yeah. Um, during the Mayfair car boot, I spent £15 on a huge bundle. When I mean huge, I mean absolutely huge. You're going to see some of it in a minute. A uh, bundle of die cutting stuff for uh, cr arts and crafts that people uh, use. You run this like through the machine with card in or whatever and it cuts the, you know, you understand. Anyway, this is one piece uh, of that that sold for 12 So that pretty much paid for the entire bundle. I've already had someone collect a bundle for £50. Um, or forty pounds, I think actually. Um, I'll put a picture of that on screen. They collected that a few days uh, ago now, um, so that's already gone. So we're already up to fifty-two pounds out of that bundle. And the next item that's sold is uh, this kit up here. So this little bundle here. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, there's a couple of loose pieces here, and then this kit as well so this i think is this the alphabet one no so these have all sort of different stuff in so this one's like video games it's like a console there with controllers um if i can fit that back in this one here's birthday knockout number four so there's three candles there so you'd cut that out like onto like a birthday card or something i presume uh, bird penguin there you go it's a pretty cool one uh, so yeah this little bundle here they paid 60 pound for so yeah <laughs> uh, 15 pounds i paid for the entire lot so far i have back 112 obviously minus fees and stuff and then i still have this bag here that's been listed um, I have this tub here. This is the alphabet and numerical set. Uh, so this goes A to Z, plus some symbols, uh, one through nine. 
Um, and then I have a brand new one here, uh, which is listed for about 25, I think, because it's brand new. And these originally are like 30, 40 pounds, I think. So um, yeah, really good um, amount of return on that. And uh, these two sets actually sold to the same person. So that's really good. Right, okay, back to uh, storage. Okay, so next up we have sold an Acme Evo, which is uh, green cups and saucers, sets of six. So these are two sets that I put together and they sold for 52 pounds. I had them up for 62. Again, they took the offer of 20%. Um, if you're new to watching my videos and you're wondering why everything sold for less than I have it listed, um, the way I run my store currently may change in the future, uh, but the way I do it is I list my items pretty high towards the top end of what they're worth. And then I will have an active 20% discount code running on the store pretty much at all times. Um, and um, yeah, so what that does is it will show up when they search that there's a 20% voucher available um, which attracts more people to click on my listing over other people's listings even if it works out towards the same sort of end price because um you know people want the uh people want to think they're getting a bargain and when they see a 20 percent discount um, regardless of the fact that it's going to be the same price on the next person's store pretty much um they take my one because it feels like they're getting a better deal which uh to me just seems like smart business um but obviously not everyone is gonna run their store the same way that is just how i prefer to do it and uh, it seems to work for me uh and i can't find what i'm looking for here we go here we go okay so in here we have uh, six cups and six saucers so i will put a picture on screen instead of opening these packets up because i don't want to damage them of course um but yeah six brand new green cups and saucers which is great right next up we have sold some ink which i've been moving around today quite a lot so here we go LaserJet 410A, 410A, black uh, for the HP. Um, let's just make sure. Yeah, 30 pounds they took for this, or they paid for this, sorry, uh, plus four pound postage. So yeah, so this is brand new. Um, it's just been opened. So yeah, that was all obviously described in the listing and stuff. So right, next up we have sold an alarm clock an Amplicom's extra loud travel alarm clock. I think it's down here. Could this be it? There it is, that was easy. So yeah, that one sold for, it says 29.99, but it could be different, 23.99, not bad. Okay, next up we have sold a wok, a brand new wok. And that's actually in storage because the guy made me take loads of measurements of it before he bought it. So I'll just put a picture on screen of that one. Next up, we've sold the Mega Drive Classic, which I actually picked up in uh, the last car boot video, I believe. So as you would have seen in the video, which um, actually now I think about it, was the last video that came out a few days ago. Uh, five pound I paid for this and it's sold already for 28 plus postage. So that is a good one. Right, next up we have sold a uh, a cuddle dry. This is a brand new, uh, it's kind of like a wrap towel thing that goes around your baby after a bath, I think. Um, so you can like hold them while they're drying. 28 pound plus uh, 3.99 postage on that one. Right, let me just open up my second bag because we're running out of space. Okay. Ah, next up we have sold a penny skateboard. This is the one that uh, was in the last car boot video before the one that you've just seen. So the one before last, I should say. 
it's funny because in that video I put I was expecting to sell it for 25 and uh, it did actually sell for 25 in the end so here we go it's this one here it's in very good condition a lovely pattern on the back that's why it sold so quickly I believe so let me just double check they did pay 25 I think they accepted an offer yep 25 okay right next up we have sold three pots these are the ones from the video not last one or the one before but the one before that so three weeks ago this one uh come about so it's these three uh orla keely jars here so sugar coffee biscuits or whatever I say biscuits because the guy in the video literally still had his biscuits in them, if you remember. So I took an offer. I had these up for 70. And uh, someone sent me an offer for 50. And um, which obviously is quite a big discount. Uh, but I just accepted because I got them so cheap. And you just don't know when the next person's going to make a high an offer. So I just took it. 50 pounds. I think I paid like seven pounds for these three pots and the metal tubs as well there's three metal tubs in here so these are for like pasta and whatever else um i think i paid seven pounds for the three so to get 50 back on these i was happy to take that so okay again sometimes you have to be um you know just aware of space rather than money at some point as you can see there really isn't much space left in here so i'm all about shifting quick 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 now rather than hanging on to stuff for an extra couple of quid so you have to be thankful for the space you are creating not the money you are making obviously I'm thankful for the money too but you know where i'm going anyway next up we have a town talk silver polishing cloth again three pounds they only bought one so no massive bundle deal today. Next up, we have sold a uh, camera. And uh, I don't know where this is. Ah, hang on. Could this be it? Could this be it? It is. That was easy. Okay, so this is a Canon Zoom power shot. With a nice little case. It says $39.99, but I believe they probably took an offer. They did $31.99. Okay. Not too bad. Happy with that one. Next up, we have sold a stopwatch, which again is down here. There's a Pro Survivor stopwatch. £20, I believe. They could have taken an offer. Let me just double check. $15.99. Great. That one uh, has been here for a while, so again, thankful for the space because um, I'm actually hopefully going to be getting some more bits pretty soon. So let's refill my tubs. There we go. There we go. Next up, we sold a Lego Dimensions little pack with uh, Lego Less, which uh, again, I think it's over here. There we go. Seven pound fifty on that, unless they use the offer code. Yep, six pound. So that's a nice easy sale. Next up, I sold some toothpaste. This is actually not toothpaste, it's tongue paste. So you kind of like wash your tongue with it. But there we go, that's right here. So this is four tongue cleaning gels for, let me see, 20 or did they use an offer? 15.99. So there we go. Nice easy sell right there. Next up, we've sold a t-shirt again in the other room, so can't go grab that. Uh, I'll put a picture on screen. So this is a Grateful Dead, so the band, the Grateful Dead t-shirt. And last but not least, we have sold a I Grow Laser Hair Rejuvenation Kit. 
Don't ask me how this works or if it works, I, I don't know, but here we go. It's like a bike helmet kind of, with like earmuffs. I don't know how this works, but there we go. 120 pounds after an offer or after they used the deal they paid for this. There we go, you can see it on screen. You stick it on your head, you turn it on, and apparently it helps your hair grow. <sighs> Mate, sounds like voodoo to me, I don't know. Um, sounds like witchcraft, you know, that kind of um, placebo. Oh my god, I got a hair. But it's a thing, and uh, I got paid for it, so I'm very happy. There we go. Two bags full, a load of cloves to go pick out. And uh, 35 items later, everybody. And uh, it's now time for me to go pack it up. It's currently Tuesday and uh, I need to get this done. I need to get this done. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself. Hopefully, maybe you've uh, seen some items that you might recognize when you're at the car boot or at the charity shop. You'll be able to pick them up in future for yourself. And uh, yeah, if you have, please do leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys very, very soon with the next video. Take care, have a good one, and I'll see you later. Beat.